Hello everyone. It's nice to have you all here and, and to be here uh, speaking to you. I'm uh, suppose I was officially trained as a communication designer at NID. Interestingly, we see all the speakers here today are somewhere or the other connected to NID. It's also maybe because at that point of time there were few choices in terms of design schools. Now you have many more. One, the launch of uh, one of these new programs we are, we are here today for. So, um, I'm okay to speak in English. And I can Hindi in Hindi. So, who will be Hindi? Many people will prefer Hindi. Hindi or English? How many people take Hindi? For Hindi. 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 Mix. ठीक है. Yes, <laughs> if we can, we can call that uh, English. So, though the slides are uh, like there are a few words only. And first of all, a lot of you are here because you are uh, planning to choose your future career options. And that's one of the very um, interesting and important moments because you are choosing whether you want to go in this field or that field. Now there is much more information available about design. But in our times there was very little. So we almost <coughs> went following some vague idea about, okay, if you need to draw, kuch drawing karna aata hai, ya kuch, uh, yaha, kuch achha, kuch craft bana lete the, to fir usko design mein जा सकते हैं और लेकिन अब तो you think you know we have heard already we have seen the presentations and we talk about some of the most complex things uh, which designers are doing today but don't you think that design has existed ever since humans have been there it has a very rich past में शायद हम लोग यहाँ होते भी नहीं अगर किसी ने चक्के के बारे में नहीं सोचा होता और आज शायद कुछ ऐसा वेकर नहीं होता कि हम लोग यहाँ मूव करके आते या फिर ऐसा भी हो सकता है कि किसी ने शिकार के बारे में खाना ही नहीं कैप्चर कर पाते क्योंकि वो शिकार शिकार करने के लिए उनको जो तीर चाहिए था या उनको जो भाला चाहिए था द एरो द स्पियर हेड वो नो बडी एक्चुअली वॉज एबल टू डिज़ाइन दैट सो इट इज़ अ वेरी ओल्ड प्रोफेशन ओल्ड एक्टिविटी now it's becoming a profession, but I think all of us at some point or the other have designed something. How many of you think you have never designed anything? Can you raise your hand up? See, see, all of us in some way or the other, I mean not a single hand up, that means, you know, uh, some way or the other we have been involved in designing. Maybe we arranged our room. Uh, we call interior designers now, professionally, but maybe, you know, we did it as per our convenience and we keep doing it, or even our desk, or whatever. So, design comes naturally to all of us, I think. And, uh, so, uh, I must say it has a very rich presence, present also, because, um, all of us design and all of us agree that yes, we design. And if we really see that, you know, how we are enveloped with design, as we have seen already with the presentation, um, we realize that we are very uh, intimately connected to design. The garment that you are wearing, the chair that you are sitting on, the lining of your undergarment maybe, or the room that you are sitting in, or the building that you walked into, everything envelops you as design or your uh, uh, one of the most favorite gadgets that everybody holds these days. Like we are walking down just now in the campus and everybody was looking at something in their hand with the blue light kind of you know, covering their face, uh, whether it's the bright sunlight anywhere or whatever we are clicking on as uh, Jaideep told us about um, the way he designs so that, you know, they, uh, make my trip can sell more and all these things. Or the variety of design 
that Abhimanyu has been talking about. So as a designer, you get to do so many things. So it really, I feel it really allows you to follow your passion. And when there's so much of opportunity all around you, कुछ भी हम छूते हैं, कुछ भी हम एहसास करते हैं, फील करते हैं हमारे चारों तरफ। Besides एक तरफ तो natural world है, सारे हमारे जो natural चीजें हैं और एक तरफ जो इंसान ने create की है, human created stuff। तो if you really see the all the human created stuff has been created by humans, so it's some way or the other designed. So that means it has future if you're thinking of design as a career. So there is, uh, it's just you have to follow what you want to do in this whole process. So at this point, I will share with you the way I had navigated through some of my design work. And I will, I've chosen a few projects. Some of them are old, some of them are newer ones, but I've kind of gone into the process. It should not look like that design Uh, it should not look like that design is something uh, which uh, is very glamorous and fancy. As Abhima News last slide told, it means a lot of hard work. It is not something um, that we all, a lot of us imagine about that we'll be a fashion designer and we'll all be on the, like our stuff will be on magazine covers and whatever. Or for that matter, anything that we design, it needs a lot of detailing and work. So I'll share with you a book that we worked on recently. Uh, it's a book for a sculptor. Uh, how many, I would imagine most of you are from Jaipur. And uh, how many of you visit Jahar Kala Kendra? How many of you, wow. How many of you saw Himmat Shah's show on sculpture? So all of you are not, some of you are regular visitors. So uh, this book we had designed for Himmat Shah. Uh, he is a sculptor and a um, senior renowned sculptor. He's worked on the variety of materials. So this book actually covers his lifetime work on terracotta. So the book had to be in the spirit of um, what um, the, sculpt, the sculptor's work is all about. So I'll just quickly go, uh, take you through some of, the, some of its pages and I'll tell you what really went into doing this. For example, it's the contents page is at the end of the book uh, because we just wanted to show the work first. So it's not necessary that you always have to have the contents page right in the beginning. Or for that matter, um, the book itself had to um, is sculptures. It weighs around three and a half kgs, and each book is unique because sculptures are unique. So there are no two books which are identical for the simple reason that um, the way uh, you saw the cover had a piece of terracotta. Each piece was signed by the sculptor himself. So people who can't afford his big sculptures can at least afford a piece of his signed uh, work. And that was actually the idea. And now in this book, what we also tried to do was to uh, go beyond just simply what you see in the book. You can actually feel the sculptures by touching the pages. So you can feel the textures of each of these sculptures. And uh, of course, try to be as true to in terms of giving the feeling or the process. A different kind of binding. So the whole book had to feel tactile. That's what the sculpture is all about. So how did we go about? So the background, the dirty part, the quote unquote dirty, but the most enjoyable part. So why I'm showing this is if people are willing to jump into it, if they're willing to uh, rough it out, if they're willing to be right at the workshop level. So this is where we are producing the um, pieces, where each piece is being signed. And uh, the artist himself is signing each piece. So at some point I felt bad making him sign those 1000 pieces because they are 1000 limited edition book, like 
sculptures are limited edition. And then we have to check that each piece had to fit in. So now that's where the detailing comes, that how on the cover it should not be raised above the cover so that you know another book can get damaged. So each piece had to be checked and how each sheet when it's printed and it depends upon how far you want to take your design to. So how each sheet when it's being printed, you know how you supervise. So while this book was being produced, we spent around two weeks on the machine floor trying to make sure that it is produced the way we have designed. That means the design time was beyond these two weeks. So it's, we almost, in fact, we almost spent uh, around six months doing the digital artwork and design and all the details to finally uh, get it to the production floor and to get the book in hand. <clears throat> so what you see simply as a book or what you see as a brochure lying on your table, the new brochure of this design school, it may not just has happened just like that. A lot of things would have gone behind into it. So, kya hum log is cheez ko karne ke liye tayar hain? Toh fir ye profession hai. Otherwise, there are other professions which could be maybe simpler. How many of you recognize this place? Because you are from Jaipur. <laughs> so, uh, right opposite this Ajmeri gate uh, is and uh, I don't know how many of you have noticed this change which had happened on that. So, um, I'm glad that you know some of you are excitedly raising your hand up. Um, so, this is another kind of work uh, that we get, get involved in. As Abhimanyu was saying that you know, though he was trained as a product designer, but he ended up doing so many other things. Same thing happens here, you know. Once you're trained as whatever designer, but you have really understood the spirit of design, then you end up designing a lot more. And uh, maybe your own life for the better, but we'll come to that a little later. So it's the installation of the signage itself. So we wanted to make sure that the actual building is not, the actual stonework on the building facade is not disturbed, not damaged. So each groove hole that you see uh, on the stone pieces. So our nuts and bolts or the hilti bolts that all went only in those grooves and not anywhere and everywhere, which was much easier to do. So we had to map out each of uh, the whole wall and align and design everything so that even if it is removed, it's not that you leave traces or you leave a mess behind just because you have designed something badly. So that becomes a responsibility of us as designers. So uh, how this image gets transferred and interestingly for a government organization like Rajasthali to be wanting to have good quality design was something that uh, we kind of went for. So and how the whole experience and how they have to compete with uh, other things that's happening around. At the same time, it's easy to maintain because all said and done, it's still in government organization. It has to be very simply uh, manageable. The sandwiches inside or uh, how the displays are and how things happen in here. This is what they originally had. And for almost, I think, 15, 20 years, they've been using this. And this is out of uh, maybe 50 explorations or iterations that we did, that how we tweaked and got a font which would align and match a certain spirit, how it would be when we just use it with English or with Hindi or both. And then how it would go on a business card, how it would go on an cash memo or package. So there could be a lot of detail that goes into when you, I mean, we're talking about Rajasthari, but when you go and shop or when you go to any of these malls or places, so a lot of it may have uh, 
been not so well designed, but a lot of it you will find and which touches you, which catches your attention, has been detailed very carefully. So it's a user, user, a user manual so that it can be used um, and implemented at other places consistently. The same spirit of converting craft into exhibition, into uh, like the spirit of promoting crafts. So in fact, it depends upon what you choose to work for. One could be choosing to work for promoting um, Coke or Pepsi, which we categorically don't do and we, in our philosophy, it doesn't uh, uh, work. So we would work with things that we find more worthwhile to spend our time on. So as designers, um, you get to choose what you want to work for and I think it gives a lot more flexibility than I believe many other professions. Like suppose if somebody was doing accounting, they will have lesser choices or uh, some other uh, more mundane things. So if you are cut for or if you are looking for um, change and new things each time, I think again design is, becomes one of the professions to go for. Uh, it could be for uh, exporters or it could be for uh, this, like uh, these are exquisitely <coughs> designed textiles. Uh, you might have seen this in Jaipur also and they are in many other places in India and in the world. So these are designers, even designers would hire designers to work uh, and promote uh, what they are designing, so that's how it happens. So they are from NIFT and NID and they do some exquisite work and we love to work with them. Or uh, when we work on web, so this web, they have launched a new web, so they have launched a new website then, so we created an ad which kind of piggybacks an advertisement in the magazine and a website. So I'm sure, um, or it could be uh, again, you choose what you work for. This is for a Green Yoga conference long back. Um, and this conference, I'm, why I've chosen to show this one, that how being a designer, how having a certain skills, you can find your way through doing many other things. Like we got connected with this organization because as graphic designer, and they wanted somebody who would help them to document and do video and had an interest in their subject area and you know it all happened. So uh, this trip, uh, like we were invited to design for them and then travel and this was happening in Mount Maruna Center in California. So you could spend time documenting and working with them. And of course this trip was um, paid by another client who wanted us to, a client from Jaipur who wanted us to design an exhibition uh, in New York for them. So we created uh, another exhibition for them in New York uh, and we could do both the things. So a simple trade show exhibition where they were uh, promoting the social invites and from that time now they are one of the leaders in uh, promoting or create, having, create, having had created a very wonderful online system of uh, sending across very exquisite limited edition um, invites across the world. Their models are being quoted in economic times and people are trying to copy their model left and right. So we've been involved with them in uh, creating their design and promoting their stuff. And of course we get to travel in this whole process. Uh, and see the few parts. So uh, design also gives you this opportunity to go and travel in different places. So right after finishing the project uh, in New York, the next week, like with all the hustle bustle, we land up in this place called Orcha. Have you heard of Orcha? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful place which has uh, beautiful architecture and we were working and living on the river bank the most quietest place after all the hustle bustle and training some of the tribal women's group there for alternative income using handmade paper. So the why again I'm showing this back to back is because the kind of opportunity that design can give you to be versatile with what you do. 
So uh, the paper products of different kinds and they're trained, they're not very skilled, so we're actually uh, trying to create designs जो उनकी गलतियों को छुपाने की बजाय उनकी गलतियों को दिखा के हम लोग डिजाइन कैसे क्रिएट करें कि उसको छुपाएं और उसको इसके नीचे दबाएं उसकी जगह सबको खुला रखना है वो टेढ़ा मेढ़ा होगा तो वही डिजाइन का हिस्सा होगा तो कैसे हम लोग ऐसी डिजाइन क्रिएट करें जो बनाने वालों को और सुविधा से बना सके और वो रिजेक्ट की तरह नहीं लगे वो डिजाइन एलिमेंट की तरह लगे सो so, एक मैगजीन डिजाइन बेटर इंटीरियर या किसी को इस प्रोजेक्ट के बारे में पता चला तो एक्चुअली कवर्ड इट एज अ पार्ट ऑफ अ फीचर इन देयर मैगजीन सो यू अगेन ट्राई यू अगेन डू डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स सो ग्राफिक डिजाइनर तो मेटल या वुड और इन सबसे तो काम नहीं करते हैं पर uh, अगर मौका मिलता है तो डिजाइनर की तरह मौका भी नहीं छोड़ते हैं तो ये uh, एक हंगर प्रोजेक्ट है न्यूयॉर्क में वो लोग दुनिया के करीब सात आठ कंट्रीज में काम करते हैं जो तो इंडिया में वो लोग काम करते हैं पंचायती राज को आ, को प्रमोट करने के लिए खास तौर से महिलाओं की भागीदारी पंचायती राज में तो दे यूज टू गिव एन अवार्ड फॉर द सरोजनी नायडू प्राइज फॉर बेस्ट रिपोर्टिंग इन पंचायती राज तो फॉर टेन ईयर्स For thirteen years, they did the award, and for all thirteen years, we created thirteen different versions of their uh, citations, which they would give. So uh, it could be like this is one year where they had more budget, so this uh, citation has around half a kilo of actual silver. So that's how it was given. Later on, we worked on lesser budget, so we worked on copper. But well, that's okay, you know. So um, this medal itself is all solid, pure silver medal. Um, so this is another exploration. In fact, this was uh, an award which was to be given by British Council to young creative entrepreneurs. So. Um, In fact, that's how you know one thing leads to another. Some somebody sees some work and goes into another, into another. So they approached us to design this for them. So this was a trophy, which was uh, made to be given to designers. So it had to match the level. the The design had to be such that you know it can intrigue the designers, who would be a chosen lot out of. a whole lot of people who would have participated and given their entries and been chosen to be given this trophy so um, in fact uh, it had a very and it couldn't look like a regular normal trophy which had a base which has a cup like a thing or a shield kind of thing couldn't be that it had to be what creative process is all about so it has a very heavy base and a very thin uh, neck and the way the creative process is incomplete without a thought process which is virtual and a physical thing which is real so if you see in the front part of the trophy the uh, half of the butterfly which was actually the symbol is real and half of it is its reflection in the mirror surface so that's how we were trying to simulate the whole creative process and the way um abhimanyu was talking about you know uh, swaying and swinging and you know ideas uh, keeping you all active and working better so in fact with little bit of breeze even with a fan this would kind of sway in a studio so uh, it has its little dynamic uh, like uh, dynamics to it as well as the way uh, a creative process is so we repeated this Award for three years, the same thing. This was, I mean, they didn't want to uh, change, but they were happy with what they had. Okay, so I will share with you another project, and this is um, something which uh, shows shows another kind of process. What a des what designers could. choose to be a part of so uh, you know now we have 
this legislation about right to information. RTI and a lot of us might have used it um, to for various getting various information. But back then, when this was being actually uh, fought and gotten as a right, so the first right to information uh, national conference that happened in Biawar was sort a of poster for that competition. So with Aruna Roy, who was le who leads, who had led this movement, so we worked together to create uh, a poster like this, and it went up on not fancy places that you would see or expect or want to see your graphic design work to go into but into most of the mundane places on as you see here so this is located in Biawar and uh, it is not the relationship or the engagement if does not end with just uh, designing a poster actually it starts much before that and it goes way beyond that in fact, in the poster where you had seen the guy in the middle with a tie, the bureaucrat, so uh, in the Biawar spoof, if you see on the right hand image in the corner, actually I'm also acting as a part of their uh, spoof and you know the show, so we actually uh, go and participate in the field. It's by choice, and you know that's how you actually. Uh, get to see and realize and participate in something that you believe in and that's what probably design allows you a bit more of space for so it's a public hearing or it's a face off at the secretariat here in Jaipur and this is all history now now we have it as a legislation and uh, it also creates history because this uh, image goes into um, a book on design for dissent and uh, with many other people who are fighting on similar issues this book was produced and so this is a part of that book so I'll quickly take you through how it is uh, being a designer it also prepares, prepares you for many other things so like I felt it also prepared me to be a design educator because I had amazing teachers who taught me so, uh, some of the students' work that uh, people end up with is taking issues. They have to learn to design a poster, but they'll take up issues like wastage of food or electricity and how they will get involved personally and not just learn to design a poster. And uh, I just wanted to give you a glimpse of what it could mean to be in a design classroom. So, uh, this is uh, one set of classroom, it may not necessarily be, this was a typography class at NID, this could be a presentation inside the classroom, it could be in the library, or it could be out in the lawn, or it could be a presentation in a corridor, or making models, working together as groups of, uh, with groups of teachers, one of our favorite teachers, right top corner, Professor N.P. Ranjan, and uh, it's been amazing to have had, you know, worked with uh, him in teaching this course called Design Process, Design Concepts and Concerns. Or when students get very tired, one would also sit and maybe, you know, catch up on the sleep by having a meditation in the class <coughs> or a creative visualization. Or it could be sitting in another school at IICD, you know, and uh, doing a you know, class maybe somewhere else. Or it could be not on campus, it could be off campus somewhere else. It could be in a village and the assignments could be rolled around in a village. Or, of course, it allows you to not only visit the places, but it allows you real life interaction. And then a lot of people from other schools, like Bala was mentioning about the India program for the Zurich University of the Arts. So they want to get their students to come and unlearn what they might have learned as a part of their design training there and learn some of the things from here. So they have various programs. So after running their program for several years, then the, the program director there decided that they wanted to get all their teachers. So on the left hand top corner, once we had the 22 design teachers who had come for this India program, 
and uh, it runs for around a month. So it goes from Delhi, Mumbai, in the Mumbai, uh, it ends in Mumbai, Delhi, Agra, Jaipur, Ahmedabad, and Mumbai. And it is woven around um, not just not touristy stuff, but really in terms of design stuff. Or uh, go and teach somewhere else, carry uh, design uh, values from um, our school to um, another place. Um, and people are trying to work on various um, issues and projects, like the last one, I will not go through all of them, the last one, here one of the students at the uh, in New Zealand at the Victoria University was trying to get a uh, thing to carry the baby and it opens up into being a small tent. It was meant for people who have been like uh, refugees and how it could double up for two things. So going from beyond from uh, production and consumption to governance that we see is an older model and we really get into environment and society which uh, we talked about but in this whole structure of what we design I think the individual designer becomes very important and that's how you're sitting here and you'll probably make a lot of difference because you see you are the pivotal bottom point here so a lot of what you see in the society and the environment that happens that would rest on uh, the future designers and what where they want to take it where they whether they want to uh, make apps and products which are trashy or whether they want to bring change in the society whether they want to be right into it and create change as change makers which is what design education can actually empower you with. So is design the future? Yes, it is. And uh, But how do we design the future? This is how we can design the future. Thank you.